So today I'll be going over the Wix ADI. So if you may recall in the video where I showed you how to create a Wix website, I actually said I may make a video about the Wix ADI. So I've decided that I would just kind of go over it and uh, explore it because I'm actually not sure what it does. So I'm just going to be kind of using an example of the Wix ADI and in the end I'll tell you my thoughts about it. So first you're going to go to your Wix uh, account and go to create new site. And there's a few different options, so I'm going to click on other. And you can see now there's two options to create uh, your website with the Wix editor or uh, use the Wix ADI. So I'm going to click start now. It's going to ask me what type of site I want to create. So I'm just going to say uh, tech help. Uh, tech tutorials, close enough. And I click next. And it's going to ask me if I need to do any of these features. I'm going to say no, so I'm going to click next. What's the name? I'm just going to say Simplex Help. And click next. Now it's going to ask me to put in an address, but I'm just going to skip that. Now I have to review and edit the information. So let me add a logo. So I uploaded a picture. It's not really showing up, but I don't know why that is. But anyway, so now you can uh, add in all your information. Once you've done that, you can go to next. And with a few different uh, themes, uh, you can choose. So I'm going to click on Horizon and click Continue. So this is going to ask, do you want to create a color palette from your logo? So I'll just say yes. So create palette. So it does know what the colors are. It's just not showing up the image. I don't know why. So I'm just going to say use these colors. So that's pretty smart the way they do that. Let's see if it, how it, well it works though. So it's created the site, and now I have all these different websites that I can choose from, uh, which the Wix ADI created for me. So it's pretty cool. Uh, it has a little bit of a circuit board in the background. So I like this one because it kind of looks nice. So the site has just loaded up, and here it is, the first version of your website. So now uh, you're just basically going to edit it and uh, make it a bit better. Um, so yeah, uh, now it's just pretty much a kind of a customized template for your own site. So yeah, um, my thoughts of the Wix ADI, I think it's actually pretty handy. You know, it puts in the basic things for you, it puts in your logo and everything like that. But at the end of the day, it's not really doing much else to customize it. Most of it's just like the regular stuff like our story and has a bit of like um, standard dialogue. Because even if you go to here and you make a new site, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. If I go to other, template, and I like this one, so I'll click edit. So even if you go to one without the Wix ADI, it still has kind of like that standard dialogues. See here it has that, and then it, you go down, see about us, it has some things like that. Uh, same thing you have on your Wix ADI site, it has, you know, standard dialogues up here, and stuff like that, and also here. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of handy, it uh, gives you a bit of a head start, but I don't think it's that great, it's not doing all that much. But yeah, those are my thoughts on the Wix ADI, and I encourage you to explore and try out your own site with the Wix ADI, and hopefully it makes it easier for you to design your website. So that's it for today, thank you for watching, I hope you found this video helpful, and I will see you in the next video.